Welcome back, Turn Green Go Ham here, uh, the Bloodborne Arcane playthrough, and uh, we're going to wrap up the Forbidden Woods here. Uh, now we already cleared out the uh, first area of town, uh, we've uh, unlocked the shortcut to Yosefka's clinic, so we're going to take care of this back half here, work our way towards our next boss. This is the guy that will shut the gate on you. Once you kill him, you're free to go in and out. No big deal. You can see over there that was uh, that Red Lantern. That's where Patches was. He gave us the tonsil stones, so we're ready to go to uh, be transported by the uh, Amidala to the new area. Got this snatcher waiting for you back here. No big deal. Handled him before. And more blood vials we can't pick up. And I think there's another uh, item around here. Plus, you can get in this house somehow. There it is. Now we get an arcane tool. Beast Roar. So this is our first really useful arcane tool. So we've had um, the old hunter bone for a while. Um, all that really does is, is speed up your evasion. But Beast Roar um, is a shout that pushes everybody around you back. As you can see, it uses two quick silver bullets. So from now on, we're going to keep some uh, blood bullets on us at all times. And I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works here real quick. You can really buy you some breathing room if you get surrounded, which, uh, you know, has happened a few times, so it'll come in handy. guy out and then go take out his molotov throwing chuckleheads over here this guy first and take care of that guy uh now there's a little drop down here i don't think there's uh, a piece of loot over here but i just gotta go check it out for my own peace of mind And this looks like a path, but it actually leads nowhere. It leads under the bridge. There's nothing there. I'm gonna drop down here. Uh, like I was saying earlier, these guys are kind of swimming in oil here. Switch to our Molotovs and pick them out very, very easily. Retop off on Molotovs. If there's any more over here now. Pretty easy with Molotovs. It would be pretty easy with the sword too if it didn't also uh, kind of blow up on us. More twin bloodstone shards. And here we go. This is kind of the gauntlet here. As we work our way through here, um, there's going to be a guy firing a cannon. And not just any cannon, I mean like a really explosive cannon. So deal with him. And there was that first cannonball there. So basically you just want to kind of move from hut to hut. Go from this side. We're going to run across this side. Across this side. This is where our shortcut is. Go over here, smash this. I'm gonna swear this is where the uh, door was. One of these houses somewhere. Ah, here it is. So now we've got the pass through from the beginning to the end of the village. So we 
hit that one. Go to this one. Ooh. Bad spacing there. And I don't think we got it. Uh, I don't think we went. A couple of uh, fake dead guys here. And now it's time to take care of the cannon. There we go. So the cool thing about this cannon is uh, if you get invaded here and they just happen to not see you and they come running down, you can blow them up as you uh, as you run through there. I've actually seen some um, pretty cool videos of that. More twin bloodstone shards. Now... We're fixing to meet a severely demented guy. Let's go ahead and uh, put our hand lantern on here. Give us a little bit of light. So he's actually a, a pretty beefy enemy if you uh, aren't all geared out like we are. Keep that in mind if you're if you're not doing a arcane playthrough here. Uh, we've got a shortcut that we will open up later over here and it's honestly one of the most use useless shortcuts in the game uh, I may not even open it up I don't remember if there's an item outside of it uh, when you get there or not but we're gonna head out here for now drop down here there's gonna be another beast over here And head up the ladder. Uh, if you're playing a strength build, really cool weapon in here. Good uh, firearm. Right down there, you'll find the cannon. We're going to head up this way first. Poison knives. Go ahead and put them on, actually. Here we go. You can see what he's doing. He's basically just chowing down on people. You need Jesus. Whoa! Blimey. Don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Um, so here's the deal. Uh, this guy's severely demented. If you send him back to... Uh, Odin Chapel, he will eat your people. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, if you send him to Yusefka's clinic, he'll get turned into one of those celestials, so not really a big loss there. Uh, but actually, uh, we're gonna tell him Yusefka's clinic and then we're gonna do something totally different. Well, I'll be. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. So, we got our free item. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on me. Yeah, but we're not going to let him uh, harm anybody. He's he's definitely demented, so... Go ahead and give him a stab. I'll we'll piss him off. Have you got a screw and he's going to turn into a dark beast. Or is it your animal intuition? You hunters have got more blood on your door, hands. Get in the door. Get in the door. <laughs> so that's why the uh, poison knives are around there. Because this guy is no joke. He is basically a faster, more aggressive Dark Beast Parl. 
We're just gonna kind of stand here and cheese him. Uh, and I call it cheesing him, but I really think this is how uh, the developers designed this fight to go. Because they literally laid out two spots of poison knives on the way to this guy. So they were like, look, fighting this guy on the roof, he's gonna fling you off of there. It's not fair, so don't fight fair. So I really believe that's why we got the poison knives over here. We're just gonna hit him with some poison knives, maybe a couple of uh, Molotovs. Bam. Our arcane is getting strong on those Molotovs. Hunters are killers, nothing less. You call me a beast? A beast? Would... Alright, and you can see what that would be like fighting him out there. He says every last one of us, but he was the one eating people. We'll get the beast rune from him. Uh, just look at that real quick. Uh, boost effective temporary transformation. So this is a... Um, um, rune that uh, uh, helps you build up your... Uh, well, it doesn't help you build it up, but once you build up your beasthood, it helps you uh, gain even more strength when transformed. Uh, a transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast. The bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. Uh, so basically, uh, if you do a, a beasthood build, it's it's forbidden as far as uh, all trains of thought in this game. Uh, so anyway, we took him down. Let's go grab that cannon, and then we'll head on out. There we go. Big boy weapon right there down here nope we got it all nope all the way down and here we go oh this is why i hate the forbidden woods wrong button Accidental emote. All right, so we're gonna make a right hand turn here. Grab an item real quick. And then it's time for a communion. face are you and an accomplished hunter you would appear <laughs> i am volta master of the league members of the league cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt like any half decent hunter ought to you know haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts freakish slugs and mad doctors Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? So we're going to join it. This is the only uh, PvE uh, Covenant, I guess you could call it. They call it Covenants in Dark Souls. I don't remember what they call it in, in this game, but uh, this is the only PvE version. And basically putting the rune on just gives you a little extra health if you're doing uh, co-op. Uh, but there's no reason not to join him and he does have a quest um, if you he'll ask you to collect vermin from defiled hunters we're going to find some of those in the dlc area 
Uh, and if you, I think it's five that you uh, crush in front of him, you complete his quest. Yes, as a hunter, well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. Security. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows, your League Confederates. <laughs> Uh, so in addition to getting the room and joining the league, uh, anytime you're going up against a boss, typically there's going to be... Ooh, forgot about the crow. Get out of the door. Uh, typically there's going to be somebody from the Confederates that you're going to be able to summon to help you with a boss fight. Uh, we've got a lot of blood echoes and we can upgrade our tinnitus, so we're going to head back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. Now that we have a good shortcut opened. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade the Tinnitus. And we'll put our last gem in there as well. I've been uh, neglecting the gun, haven't I? So, uh, oh yeah, waning. And we're going bolt. So that's going to be our weapon durability down. But it's going to give us that 10.5 uh, up against the kin that we lost from the other. And overall, it's going to give us more bolt attack now. It doesn't seem like a lot on this screen when you're looking at bolt. Just going from plus 59 to plus 82. But... If you remember, I said that it gets the majority of its damage from bolt after it's buffed. So, 321... Keep doing that. The 638. So that's almost double uh, the power of the weapon. And it's pretty much all bolt when you do that. Very short lived, like I said. Very basic move set. Just, you know, sweeping arcs, overhead smash. Uh, but it's just going to destroy Kim. Let's go ahead and level up here. Ah. I. What is. Very well. Let. I'm comfortable with where our, where our health and endurance is at this moment. I really want to start squeezing some more arcane out. So we're going to bump that to 45 and then we'll take vitality up to 30. Farewell, I wonder what kind hunter. of cold May bloods you? I've got. Let's take a look real quick. Frenzied, frenzied, dick. Um, frenzies are worth a good chunk, but we're not going to really mess with it till we get some kin cold blood. Forgot to mention, we saw that uh, bolt paper was purchasable with the insight now that we got the uh, spark hunter badge, but it's also purchasable with uh, regular blood echoes as well. Uh, as well as the tinnitus. We picked it up, so there's no reason to buy it, but it is there. Okay, back to the Forbidden Woods we go. So this next area is pretty long and winding. There's a lot of paths to take. Uh, we're going to try to get through it and get to the next boss, uh, but we may end up having to uh, split the episode up. I, I thought we could get there, but it's already uh, in 19 minutes, so we're starting to look a little long already for such a large area. So that's unbuffed. Kill one more guy with it buffed so you can see the damage difference here significant damage and especially on things that are weak to bolt it's just going to tear them up like to our normal weapon here the durability is down on it so we're basically going to be using it just for uh, bosses that are weak to bolt
Okay, so now all the twists and turns and maze that are right hand path. Yes. I think this one you actually have to jump. an item that's a trap oh oh no he got me before my charge attack went off yo he's up oh way too late come on too early and these guys really are uh Weak to bolt, just to show you here. Ooh. Man, I was all over the place on that one. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's grab this item. Next one of those, I'll show you the Tenitris so you can see just how hard it hits him. Uh, you can drop down there, but I want to tackle it from the beginning back here. That's where we headed up on the second path. And here they come. I'm a snake. I'm a little sneaky snake. Dead snake. The only good snake is a dead snake. You may you may disagree. Uh, have our opinions. And they are everywhere, and in the tall grass, you can't even see them half the time. Like that one. Did not even see him. Uh, I don't believe it's here. There is a jump to be made, yeah. It's uh, one row over. Another one of those guys like we found in the tower back there. Get a lot of health. Drops gemstones, though. Kind of work our way back towards where we killed uh, the big guy up on the ledge. Don't think there's any items back here, but I'm just doubling back to check. I think we're good. This is the point where we took the left path. Like I said, it's just a really wide area. It's hard to get it uh, just running in a direction solid. You really gotta kind of meander around to find everything. The good thing is, snakes don't like fire. We are very well equipped with fire. So we're getting closer and closer, guys. It's uh, it's almost time for the PS5. It's almost time for the Demon Souls remake. I cannot tell you how excited I am. More snakes. Where are they coming from? I thought I killed you. Uh, I cannot tell y'all how excited I am for the Demon Souls remake. Uh, I'll tell you right now. There's going to be a lot, a lot of content uh, from me once it comes out be doing uh, a let's play right off the bat we're gonna see what's changed um, depending on what the new fractured mode is that they've been talking about if that is a thing I know it's just been rumors so far but if it is a thing um, we'll be doing a playthrough of that uh, probably a full-blown walkthrough and obviously build videos because uh, yeah there's gonna be uh, lots of different builds I'm, I'm hoping they've really changed a lot about the game so that it's not just the same old builds, physical build, go dragon bone smasher, or um, 
the meat cleaver uh, and then you know royalty that's pretty much it so I'd like to see I'd like to see some more diversity I hope we really get that from the new remake yo bro you spin too fast let me get behind you so really excited about that um, rest assured as soon as I get it in my hot little hands uh, we'll be making videos uh, now my particular pre-order on the PS5 is shipped so I'm sure it'll be a few days after release uh, but as soon as I get it we're gonna, we're gonna start making some videos be on the lookout for that okay so there is a pit coming up it has just a whole whole lot of spiders matter of fact I think there's a good cluster right around these trees Yes. Be a poison spitting one large one here somewhere. Try to follow me while I go. I hear him. Where is he? Oh, those are the ones down in the pit. Grab these and roll away. Because this guy's going to come after you. And I. And I actually prefer to pull him. Golly, this way. Because there's actually three of them down in that hole. And if you pull one, at least he, he comes out by himself. And these two are staying in here by, you know, where you can have a chance at killing them. And I got poisoned. Still have them on the bar. Oops. Kill the poison. Bloodstone chunk. That is our first chunk. Cannot wait to start upgrading this weapon even further. So we can hear the snakes down here. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get an angle on him. Ah, oh, the lock on came off. There we go. Oh, that was an oil iron. I guess. Oh, we're out. Okay. So, we gotta do it the hard way. Let's go. Spitting at you. Cannot even finish a swing with this weapon. This weapon's a bit too slow for these guys. And the deep sea room. So worth the trip in here. Um before we head that way, let's go over here. Yeah, we got everything up there. God, let me wind up my swing. Yeah, love, love this area. It's my favorite. Uh, right here you got a shortcut to the boss you do have to go around and unlock that gate first but once you do you can drop off right there and run to the boss just uh, dodge a few snakes and head on over there okay we're gonna go ahead and go back make the jump real quick there's a gear set over here we want then from there, it puts us in a good position to uh, take on the Celestials that are around here. 
Like I said, this place is uh, kind of a maze. A snake that drops down. We'll come to get the twin blood stone shards. And then, yes, this is our jump. You can hear the weird noises from down there. Those are our celestial buddies, like we found in Yosefka's clinic. Oh no, we rolled. Get off me. That man's knowledge. Oh well, we'll work our way out here and then we'll work back around. Big deal. Uh, the part to watch out for are not these guys. It's the guys around that tree. The ones with the crazy hair. Pop off real quick and we're gonna run around there and... Oh, yeah, attack them fast. Uh, those are the arcane variant. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. We've been waiting for that. We're actually gonna double stack our stamina to give us good stamina without having to invest. Um, yeah, those guys uh, have some pretty powerful arcane damage there. Crafty booger. That's it, yeah. Uh, fireflies on a, on a well I'm just gonna call it it's a poo lake it's brown looks like poo uh, if we go up here we'll get part of the set uh, that we're trying to jump for oh no that's uh, further up our piggy down there going nuts let's go take care of him real quick actually oh man we're over 30 minutes yeah, I think we're gonna have to break this episode up before we get to the last boss, but let's take care of this pig first. And I wanna I wanna get us back to uh, a place that we know, so we'll head on up here. Get back to that jump. Think there's any items over here? Snakes everywhere. And he will actually call other snakes out of the ground. But he thought there were a lot here. Now there's even more. Hey, I thought you were dead. Head back up here, we'll get back to our jump, and then that's where we will uh, cut our video. Pick it up again. Nice, just roll right into the fire. It's fine. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so we're back at our jump, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, don't forget to comment down below. Uh, and in the next video, we will be wrapping up this area and taking out the next boss. So, uh, making our way towards Bergenworth, uh, catch you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching.